and welcome to Calagram Market, also called these days as we are headed higher, boys and girls. So, so without further ado, let's just uh, get uh, started with today's uh, we are headed higher high analysis. So, first up, Nifty. I was saying that there is the middle of the uh, channel here. There might be some consolidation here, and it might go up, which we said is a likely scenario. That has already happened. This is pretty fast and furious. Uh, it went up, went up, went down, went up, and it is now a bullish hammer. This is not a hanging man. This is not a paper umbrella. This is a hammer because it went below, <coughs> got support, and went up again. So let me write that thing first up. Uh, Nifty above middle of channel with a bullish hammer. And Bank Nifty is above the, so at Bank Nifty they tried, to, I think uh, the market tried to go below the 100 EMA, but it's resting above the 100 EMA now. So with a bullish hammer daily candle. Now let's go to the weekly candle because we are obviously at the end of the week almost. Mega bullish Margozu, there's no question on this. This is also a very big Margozu confirming the bullish hammer. Bank Nifty, sorry, Nifty bullish Margozu on weekly. Bank Nifty confirming on weekly uh, both engulfing bullish engulfing on what is that thing called monthly so everything in chart is screaming one thing bhai ye upar jayega right that this chart is very unequivocal look at this right if this is not bullish i don't know what is bullish so it looks like we are headed for a very violent uh, kind of a move, uh, at least piercing. So sorry, it was not engulfing, it is piercing on uh, monthly. So bank nif nifty bullish engulfing, bank nifty bullish piercing. But it can also become engulfing tomorrow if it goes up, right? Option chain too early to say anything, but unmistakably 20,000 has a lot of support. Zero point nine bullish, but early to call it. FI option data should be really interesting. FI is by you has not come out. Yeah, this is uh, cheating. Eh? FIA data has not come out. FIA data has not come out. I, what do I do now? FIA data has not come out. Okay, let me just see user comments. <laughs> Manoj is saying Nifty may touch all time high. Yes, Manoj, I think so too. S SPM is saying FIA huge short portion in November. In the backdrop of a huge rally, what's your thought on the FIA balance sheet at the end of the month? I don't know because the thing is this, right? FIA could have a lot of um, equity exposure and they might be hedging it with the futures. Uh, looks like political results taking a toll on bullishness. Why? I don't see the here. Consa bearish here. Every day is slightly or positive or mega positive. Uh, gift okay so i'll just touch this topic a lot of people are saying that gift nifty is showing 250 point gap up no it is not expiry has changed this is showing next month uh futures which is why it might look like a gap up, but in reality it is not so i'll just show you gift nifty despite the fact that it is full of useless advertisements hey bhagwan if i should see this is the thing, right? This is 3.30 p.m. You can see this 3.30 p.m. 
this gap you are seeing from 2130 to 22 um, 80 the 150 point gap you are seeing this is not a gap this is just switching over of expiry whereas this from 2280 to here which is 20, 70 points is a gap but this is not a gap this is just switching over of the expiry please don't be you know uh, conned by this uh china virus i don't know here i don't even know if china virus is the right uh, thing to say Prasad is saying, let's do time pass. Yes, let's do time pass. I'm just going to give it one more shot till 9.30. Check NSE website for FID. Yeah, it doesn't Futures not It only has cash. Futures, it comes in an Excel sheet. But the moment that Excel sheet is uh, updated, we also update. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is kind of a bad news. So sorry. But I'll just publish it. Uh, Verdict, uh, stay long, do not short in any case. Nifty might go higher, very high possibility. Wow, okay. So verdict, hello, or buy on dips, do not short, <laughs> 50 likely to go higher, uh, nothing changes for me. I would rather play this with uh, long-term option spreads such as bull call spreads. Yes, if you're feeling really courageous, you can buy calls, buy futures, etc. But for me, uh, not taking irrational risks is more important than uh, YOLO, right? So I'll, I'll stick to this. I probably know there are better trades than this, such as buying naked calls or buying futures. But I just, in my right uh, risk management framework, I can't... Uh, uh, I, I simply can't ask people to do that, especially when market is kind of overheated like this. It's scary. So even if it slightly dips, right, if you're carrying futures and all, mentally it is impossible to manage because you people will freak out. So let's not do freak out level stuff. Let's just do this thing, right? Uh, uh, FII cash data is out, uh, 8,000 crores by, so I'll just add that. If I stock data, 8,000 by see the thing is this right it, this does not particularly mean anything but this is a very positive signal but this too is the like we can't really make a decision on based on this these two are the more important thing because overall right let's say today 8000 crore buy let's just say it is 8000 crore buy what's the point because October 30,000 crores, September 30,000 crores, August 20,000 crores, all of these are sell. Even within this month, right, if you look at the cash data, barring the last uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days, it's been a very, uh, actually, November 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, the tide has turned, let's say, after 15th number. After 15th number, we have been seeing green. So, yeah, 8,000 crore plus is added. That's a very positive signal. Maybe uh, SPM is saying today MSCI re rebalancing. Manoj is saying MSCI rebalancing. Maybe it's because of that. It could be true. Uh, so, yeah. Saras is saying we'll wait for December 3rd to make any trading. Why the ele election results, sir? Yeah, maybe. But uh, the thing is, if election results uh, come in such a way that market dips, right, then it's a decent, might be a decent point to enter, right? So um, let me just go to, what's the thing called? Uh, uh, events calendar, have they written ele election results? I don't think they've written. They only use economic indicators and stuff. Let me just... Um,
20 there has to be a setting here to not show current written 30th number tomorrow india gdp so one event is important so today right it already released i think today 30th number gdp growth rate 8th December is RBI, 3rd December election result is there, that's all of course very important. But I think the first important economic event is 8th of December when RBI will announce interest rate decision. Then uske baad one or two, but I think yeah, all eyes on December 3rd when the poll results will come out. November, Kush is saying November is net 6,000 crores by, that is very nice. Uh, all right, so that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. And as usual, most important thing, don't take irrational risk. Risk management is the most important thing. If you survive in the long run, you'll make money. So on that note, please take care.